biggest city this nation has ever known, Antioch, California, where I was born and raised. I'd love to give you a tour of my house, so if you'd love to just come on up here, follow me inside, and I'll give you a nice tour. Come on. everyone. Parkour is a serious business. <laughs> but uh, again, my name is Jordan Sabella, and uh, this is my beautiful house where I was born and raised. So I'm going to give you a tour, and uh, hopefully you can get to know me a little bit better during this tour. So come on, why don't you follow me? This is uh, where my mom taught me how to cook growing up, and um, this is also where she uh, fueled my brain, this brain that uh, got me into UC Berkeley. I'm a nuclear engineering undergraduate at UC Berkeley, and um, I'm really involved in the nuclear engineering department. Last year I was the secretary treasurer of the ANS, that's American Nuclear Society. It's a Berkeley chapter and this year I'm actually going to be the VP. So I'm pretty excited. So uh, if you want to follow me this way, we can uh, take you to the rest of the house. So, so here is the sleeping areas that I live in because I live in Berkeley now. So this is where I hibernate, my hibernation station. I really love it. Nice, comfortable couch. You know, the best part about it is the privacy, because obviously no one can come through the living room. <laughs> but uh, honestly, this, this could not be a room without this. This is like God's gift to mankind, my PS3. I love this thing. use it all the time. Only problem is my family uses it way too much, so I just leave them nice little notes to remind them that they need to turn it off. It's like my child. You're not going to leave your child on all night. You need some sleep, right? <laughs> obviously. But um, so my background, so when I was younger, we always used to go on road trips. And so a lot of kids used to like play video games, you know, the Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and the cars. Don't get me wrong, I liked it, but I would always nag my dad to give me math problems. Sounds a little weird, but like, I loved it. T started when I was really young, simple times tables, and by the time I was 10, 11, I was doing three-digit multiplication. And it was, it was really nice. And that kind of, especially since my dad's a flight engineer, so I always looked up to him, and I always knew I wanted to be an engineer, some type of engineer. And so my advanced math skills at a young age helped me do well in math and science, and the further along I went, the more and more I loved it, and the more and more I wanted to be like my dad, who's an engineer, and I really knew I wanted to work with energy, and so nuclear engineering was like the new form of energy for me, even though it's not new, but a lot of people don't know much about it, and it's relatively new, and so I knew I wanted to do some type of engineering, and I loved energy, so nuclear engineering is pretty much what what my path led to and ever since I've taken college classes and learned more about it I just love it and I know that's going to be what I do in my future like I'm going to stay with that 100% until I die nuclear engineering probably but um if you want I could take you to the backyard where I could show you some of my engineering projects we can operate there it's pretty fast mm -hmm. you feel sick no all right well, that's good all right so I'm going to show you a uh, when we were kids, I was really active. My dad always got us to be active, and so we were like, why not build a zip line from tree to tree? So came here, I was 10 years old, actually, when uh, all these lines are actually broken lines. Over the years, they broke, we got too heavy. But uh, we built it from here into the tree up there. I had to use a step ladder and climb all the way up there. And uh, it went all the way, all the way to that, that tree right there. That tree was a lot higher, though. We had to cut it down. It was starting to fall over, but that tree. And uh, yeah, it's really nice, and we used to go all the way, zip, zip, and just jump right into the pool. So um, there's another big project. I built some things in between, but I just built a couple years ago. It's right in there. If you want to come along with me, we'll take a ride. So another great thing I built is this bar for my parents' 25th wedding anniversary. And uh, it was a few years ago. I'm pretty proud of this work I did. I did it all by myself with hand, and I had no help. I just did it from scratch. And uh, see these three stools? I clearly built the two nice ones. There's no way that this happened to be the one I built from scratch. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. All right, maybe, maybe that's a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. So now I'd, I'd really like to introduce you to my sidekick right now. I'm... Yeah. How you doing? My name is Seri Sabella. I'm uh, Jordan Sabella's uh, sidekick slash older cousin. Uh, the reason I'm his sidekick because, as you can tell, I'm very energetic. Uh, we have similar personalities, characteristics. Uh, he's a nerd, I'm a nerd. And we're gonna hit it off. He's beautiful, smart man. 
and I trust the guy. Let's go. And uh, another thing he's not telling you is that uh, he's like an older brother to me, basically. I've grown up with him since I was a little kid, so it's, it's really important to me for him to be there. Thank you, Jordan. And hey, uh, you want to apparate back inside? Apparate. Ready? Oh, okay, this is my favorite part of the show. This is where I get to show you guys my weapons collections. I have a Harry Potter and a Star Wars collection in Berkeley that I love, but it's in Berkeley right now, so this is really all I can show you. I got a medieval axe right here. I have a Batman claw. That's sick. I have a freaking Wolverine claw. This is amazing. If, if Star Wars was in the past, this would be the medieval Darth Maul sword. I mean, this collection is amazing. I love it. But really, though, it doesn't compare to this collection. Look at this one. Oh, my God. I have a Mew, a Mewtwo, a Charizard. All these are my holographic Pokemon cards. Look how many I have. All these are just my holograph Pokemon cards. I love these things. I'm never getting rid of them. They're going from generation to generation. But really, I'm, I'm very fun, very energetic. I'm a great competitor, and I'm, I'm, I thrive for competition. I mean, that's why I should be on the show. I'm a great competitor, and I work well under pressure. If you don't believe, watch, you, watch this. Watch this. Look at this. I'm smiling. If we could do a sit-up or two. That's how I work under pressure. Extremely well. But it's been fun. I really hope you got to know me as a person. Got to see my energetic side, my fun side, and everything. So I think it's time for you to leave my crib right now so I can go play some video games. <laughs> so have a nice day. Oh, wait. Wait, I forgot something.